Courageous Voices is essentially about being in role of someone who maybe represented a certain like problem and tried to overcome it. And we are trying to take on the role of that specific person, whether they're alive still or not. Well, at first I didn't like singing because I thought it would be like scary, but like I love singing, but just in front of people sometimes it gets scary, but now I like singing a lot. I also like when I look at like when I'm watching the show and the heroes really connect. Like when you can see them like bonding, even though they're like in totally different time periods. People should know what these people are trying to speak for. Sure, there are like countless people who have tried to speak up on certain subjects like racism or sexism or something like that. But the, there are certain part people in particular that try to do more, like go one step ahead of others. And I think that's what this show is trying to represent. Um, I'm playing Elizabeth Cady Stanton. She is a, a suffragette from like the early uh, 20th century and a little bit of the 19th century as well. Um, I think my favorite part of the show is just sort of performing because it's so much fun and it's just like so interactive. I have stage fright. Like, like it's very severe, I think. So I think just being on stage is a little nerve wracking for me because I'm not kind of like an acting type person. Well, I think just letting everybody know, like in the audience, like what these people were trying to say to others. Kind of like for me, I was Terry Fox. So kind of like what he was trying to say was he was trying to promote like cancer research because he doesn't want anybody going through what he had to go through. So I kind of feel like what these people were like speaking out for was really inspiring for me. So I think that's the most enjoyable part. I think awareness about different issues that are happening in the world because a lot of people don't really know a lot about what's happening that are bad in the world because they're not really talked about. I would hope that it would make them want to go out and do something about bad things that are happening in the world. Where are all the children? What makes their mother cry? GM of Fortune. We have a system of justice that treats you much better if you are rich and guilty than if you are poor and innocent. Brian Stevenson. This lack of hope for the future is the root cause of rage. Romeo Dallaire. Stand up for what you believe in, even if you're standing alone. Sophie Scholl. One child, one teacher, one pen, and one book can change the world. Malala Yousafzai. The school was both a sanctuary and a prison. Melba Beals. I believe in miracles. I have to. Terry Fox. I've had to wear a bulletproof vest on a number of occasions because of the death threats. I've been beaten by the police. I've been assaulted in my church. I have fought to give a voice to those who have voices. We are called to embrace the whole of creation in all its diversity, beauty, and wonder. We can pray all night, but if we continue allowing the powerful people to destroy our world in this fashion, we deserve to die. We deserve to starve. We deserve to be held by others in contempt. Walk up to the wailing wall with a pickaxe and start whacking away. See how far you're gonna get. Someone is gonna put a bullet in your back and everyone will say that you deserve it. If I thought the war was going to bring freedom and equality to 22 million of my people, they won't have to draft me. I join tomorrow. I have a dream that my four little children will one day live in a nation where they will not be judged by the color of their skin, but by the content of their character. We were moving towards peace. How come I'm dying here? Those eyes dominated, and they're absolutely right. 
How come I failed? How come my mission failed? Violence is like a weed. It does not die even in the greatest drought. For evil to flourish, it only requires good men to do nothing. The trouble is that if men start to vote, they will vote too much. Politics unsettled men and unsettled men means unsettled bills, broken furniture, broken vows, and divorce. Men's place is on the farm. But it is one towards which we must continue to journey. Our eyes fixed on it as a traveler in the desert fixes his eyes on the one guiding star that will lead him to salvation. The greatest crimes in the world are not committed by the people breaking the rules, but by the people following the rules. It's people who follow orders that drop bombs and massacre villages. The essence of life, if you were young in the rock, was that life was separate and you were always frightened. I was always, always, always frightened. I truly believe that the only way we can create global peace is through not only educating our minds, but our hearts and our souls.